I wasn't going to be pushed about. And I think and that was the reason why I weren't pushed about, because it had it in the head. If I'd gone up there, I think, fuck it, oh, fuck it, bam, fucking, fuck this. I'd have been pushed about, I'd, 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 I'd been bullied, you know what I mean? But I thought, fuck it. And, and I remember somebody saying, there's a sort of urban myth about you if you was in the SAS. And I thought, fuck it, I'll leave that one, I won't say nothing about that. <laughs> I did like to break people's preconceptions about how, how anyone should be. I just like the fact that kind of, if people kind of um, confront something, they got to think differently a little bit. Because I never felt comfortable sort of uh, being like a macho man, you know. It's like, it's, you know, at all. I always felt a bit overwhelmed and anxiety in London, the sheer number of people and your little bloody little rent and, I, and it kind of allowed me to sort of rise above my little rent this I, I mean when I was doing it I had to be courageous, courageous enough to just walk up here get on the train pick me ticket and, and not give a fuck If you could sum up your life in a single word what would it be? Restless I think, I mean, I mean, that's, you know, basically sort of underlying restlessness. Didn't have a good time at school, really. I always made the wrong decision. Went to the wrong bleeding school, I kind of... Most people left at 16 and, and very few people went to university in 1976 from a working class background. Nobody did. Nobody did. You, 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 had, you, didn't, you didn't have any opportunities, really, at all, working class. They just, they was floaters. Kids floated, and they don't float right, they float wrong. What my sister, I remember she used to go up London to what was called the Global Village, which was heaven, which was the same place, it was called the Global Village then, and it was, it was a gay place then, but it was also a punk place as well, the early punk. I went up there with my sister and her mates. It was just, just bloody, it was just like walking into a different world. When I was growing up, glam rock was all, it was mainly blokes with makeup on, dressed up, and so, so they were the pop stars. You know, if you'd actually dress like a sort of glam rock star and walk down the street, you, you, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd have been called out and this, that and the other, and yet they'd go back home and, and they would have the LP there, you know, it was, it was odd. And you found that a lot of the ones who did like David Bowie were the ones who wanted to do it, really. I don't know, I suppose, I suppose one, of the, one of the reasons why, why I stopped doing it, because it needed to go somewhere else, and it didn't. So it had a period of time when it was sort of, it was more alive. You, you sort of like, you know, it's amazing how much you spend. I just ran out of fucking money, I suppose, and I don't know, working and... Just, just kind of fizzle. I did start redoing it about two fourteen or two fifteen, just, just to get out. I just felt more, bit, a bit more vulnerable, a bit, you know, because I'm so, I suppose, older. I mean, that, that was a fifth. I'm sixty three now. Yeah, I can't, I can't say I'm happy. You know, uh, nah, not really. Don't really like Dartford, you know, a bit, a bit stuck. Don't know, just sort of, you know, I don't, I don't say I'm so unhappy it's that bad, but I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself happy, you know. Just get in the mode, I suppose you have to kind of, uh, you just float along a bit more, I don't know, it's, uh, not, you know, not quite as exciting. You know, I'm, I'm always, I suppose the creative side of things, I, you know, I kind of, uh, still would spies me. I mean, uh, I've got in the mode of going to work and I say, I say I'm right and I'm falling asleep in the day and things like that. I'd still be, I think I'd, I'd start on the music again. I think I would, but I'd have to invest money in it because I've got the, the, next, the new next door neighbours and they, they work at home all day. I, I like to play guitar and 
play to my heart's content a bit, but I probably only annoy them. I think there's, at the present time, I think there's confusion about about sort of just identity. And it, it doesn't have to be gender identity, it's just about, you know, just you and your, your, your body and, and, and just growing up. In, in any species, there's that element of, of kind of uh, being taught how to be. And, 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 and as human beings, we don't get very clear role models, none of us do. Don't know your dad's a fucking alcoholic or fucking beats the wife or, you know what I mean? You don't get clear role models, so it complicates it. But you used to make these transfers, so I used to use those and sort of... Put Somebody's them rigid in the agenda, thinks that the, the other person is, is a threat to their sense of who they are, because you, you question them, you know what I mean? Especially so when they when they got all these other bits of themselves that they haven't, they haven't kind of considered. Whoever you are, you know, and you feel comfortable like this, don't, don't feel as if the other has got to be just like you. You know, you make your choice, but don't, don't make, don't try and make the choice for, for the other.